Okay, everybody. Uh, welcome back to uh, Minecraft modded Voyage Wrath Survival. Let's go mining. Yeah. This might just be a really deep hole with nothing in it. Nope. Well, maybe. Uh, yeah. That's all right. <laughs> oh, that makes me sad. I thought, you know, it's just gonna be great. We're gonna jump down and we're gonna just find some ores straight away. It's gonna be like bish bash bosh, done. But it was not meant to be. So, now we're out here. Um, looking for a cave. Anywhere. Just, just like a cave somewhere. I love these trees, by the way. They're fantastic trees. Hmm. I think we can make it to that island? I don't think so. I think we're going to have to step into the, uh, uh, this, is this like a desert biome or something like that? I don't remember what the official name is. Oh, there's a cave down there. There's also one up to the left there, but I'm not sure if that one goes anywhere. Why am I just sometimes randomly taking damage? It kind of bothers me. Cat, look, no. I had to stop the video to let you out. I'm not going to stop it again to let you in. You don't need more coal. We got plenty of coal. All right, that was light. Deli Fresh says K. I, I don't know if you guys can see the Steam messages. Um, I'm not sure if you can hear them either. I'm sure you can hear my cat. Why can't I find like a decent cave system? Maybe that's a decent cave system. Let's try this one. This one looks a bit more promising so far, but it might just be a big room. Ah, lag. Been getting a lot of lag exploring. Uh, hmm. Well, I think we're, uh, yeah, we're right on the border between biomes here. Yeah, not really anything that interesting. What, what, are, what are these blocks? Cracks? Oh, yeah, that's a, it's a desert biome. Or, uh, it's like a special desert biome or something like that. I don't really know. <laughs> Nothing grows though. Any plants you try and plant will die. Which make so it makes sense that there's a giant evergreen forest right next to it. All right. I mean, we might we might just have to start digging downwards. Um that might be the best method here. That's so boring. It's so much more fun to find like a giant cave system, run around and explore strange new worlds. Um, these trees are amazing. I wonder, can you get saplings from these trees and just like plant them on top of each other? Or, I mean, you could probably just dig your home out of one of these trees. Is this a cave? No, that's just sort of a small pit. Skeleton, really? I mean, really? You just sat under that tree all day just so you could shoot me? I think I got a bow off of him though. <laughs> Look at all these cows here. This place is cow heaven. I mean, cows, in real life, are domestic animals. Uh, you, they don't really live in the wild. You could probably find, like, bulls in the wild or something, but that's not really, really the same. Ugh. Let's go. Come on. Up the hill. I don't know why I'm going up the hill. Uh, should be going underground. Hmm. It's not a great seed for caves, is it? Or else I'm just missing all the good ones. There's tons of lighting errors all over the place, too. Turn me crazy. All right, that looks like your standard swamp. So since I think things can spawn under... Do I have to be, like, full-on hunger or something to not take damage? Oh, carrots heal a lot. Jeez. Um... All right, well, you know what? Let's just... Let's just go down from here. Let's just do that. This... Should be fun. Just digging in a circle. Found some coal at least, I guess. Yeah, count your blessings. Oop. Stupid gravel. Gravel is the most pointless thing in the world. Alright, I'm gonna switch where those two things are. Uh, 
course, like where I choose to dig down is just filled with gravel. And that's very typical. Let's go. Let's let's start circling around this way. Dirt, great. Gravel or dirt, take your pick. Uh, a little bit of iron, anyway. I figure eventually, eventually we got to hit some sort of cave system, right? We're not just gonna dig down and then hit bedrock, uh, right? Hey, look, bedrock. Look, now, oh, great, awesome. Uh, let's try, let's try digging along the diamond level, shall we? It's um, supposed to be like ten and eleven. Let's go up one more. Uh, supposedly this is where diamonds most often spawn, and I think rupees and Arla might do as well. If we just go in a direction, <laughs> we've, we've got to hit something eventually, right? I mean, we're not just going to be stuck here digging forever. I hope. Alright, what's this? What's this then? I haven't been digging for that long. I mean, you can see I used to be sort of in the upper middle area of the mini-map. Um, I don't know what this ore is, though. Rupee! We found some rupee! Yeah! Just by sort of digging around. I mean, we're gonna, we're gonna need a lot more than just that. Um, but, Rupee! Yay! Uh, yay. <laughs> Look at how much cobblestone I've mined through. This, this is getting ridiculous. Um, I'll see you guys at the next exciting find. Alright, here we go. There's something. I mean, I haven't gone very far this time either. Um, I'm feeling especially good about this whole uh, lava thing. Water pushing me towards lava. I mean, this, this is a massive lake of lava. Alright, water. Ah, oh, there we go. Well, I mean, now we've gotten somewhere, right? Something. Oh. I don't know what that thing is. Oop. Hello, lava. I hear awful things, so I'd rather you not be here for me to fall into. There's nothing down here. This might that might be one of the corrupted thingies I want to find. Um, probably just kill me immediately. Because uh, that's how. Uh, how these things work. And that is essentially the basis behind the Divine RPG mod. Uh, creating a lot of mobs that will kill you instantly. And adding in some cool weapons. Oh! Huh. There's a sniper in this one. Intercepted me midair. Oh, hello. That sounded like an enderman. Gold, I do need some gold to get to the Isaka dimension eventually. Oh! Is that... No, it's just a skeleton wearing leather armor. Alright. I think they are harder to kill, the ones in uh, armor. Boy, why is it always skeletons? I mean, really. I'd be fine dealing with a ton of zombies, or even a ton of creepers is manageable. Manageable. Bull. But a ton of skeletons just pushes you every which way. Lighting errors, yay, our favorite. Hmm. Hmm. Ugh. Am I, am I ever gonna find anything else down here? Is there, any, is there anything? I'm very scared of lava. That's just iron back there. Uh, hang on. What are you? What are you, little block? Hmm? Hmm? What are you? Looks like emerald. Oh, it's Arlamite. Sweet. Arlamite. Yes. Four. Is that it? Can I get any by, like, adjacency? Can't they spawn, like, diagonal to each other or something? No. All right. Uh, it's quite a weird little lighting error thing going on there. It's just 
just ignore that for now. All right, uh, I just found some real mic here. I realized it wasn't recording, but yeah, I got uh, four bits of it. You can see over here. Real mic, I looked up. It doesn't really get you anything much. You can make some armor with it. Um, but it's cool, you know, new ores, all that. You know. I think, I, I think I'm just going in circles now, aren't I? All right, I think we, I think we can get up there. Let's go. Ow. Ah, no. Um, let's see. Oops, come on. There we go. Ah. Aha. Oh. Um, blue stuff. Blue stuff is rupee, I think. Right. Right. Blue stuff. Rupee. Yeah, rupee ore. I feel like I'm getting really lucky with the amount of rupees I'm finding here. I think they normally are much... I feel, I feel like they're, they're normally much rarer when I was just like looking up stats in the uh, thingy. What's this? Oh, we've already been out there. We've been up here. Like randomly take damage. Like bread. Carrots. Uh bye Roman. Let's eat those carrots. <laughs> so I guess we've been up. Have we been up here? Yeah, we've been up here. This is like where we came down. Alright. Oh! <laughs> I walked right by this. What the hell? Look how much rupee there is here! When is there ever this much rupee anywhere? I've got like 12 rupee, 12 rupee ore. Oh god, I'm gonna need a lot for that armor though. Well, a lot? Mm. Let me think. Let me add it all up. So you need eight for the chest plate, seven for the legs, so that's 15, plus four for the boots, which is 19, plus five for the helmet which is 20, 24, 24 rupees, so we're halfway, we're halfway there, and I've been at this for maybe 45 minutes now, maybe, uh, maybe not quite that long, ugh, ugh, water, ugh. It's some diamonds, ah. That's it. <laughs> I feel like I did something to please the gods of Minecraft here, I mean, the amount of rupee I'm being given, is that, no, it's not, it's not. And like diamonds now, I guess a diamond next to ruby, next to ruby, two ruby blocks. It's just not blocks. Or, gee, how much? I have. I mean, okay, it's it's been a while. I've been, I've spent a while mining around. But seriously, I feel like this is going way faster than it should somehow. Um, so let's um, let's open up the purple backpack. We got diamonds, 19 rupee ore. Uh, it's not that much further to go, really. And the gold. More rupees here, by the way. <laughs> just, just like eight. Um, oh, it's up here. Hmm. Lava, lava is up here. Sometimes, Rana, you can you can be a real pain in the ass. I mean, for mining, it's nice, but uh, I mean, really. We got more rupees, yay! I'm gonna need a bit more arlamite, though. Actually, I think to uh, make because I think so many rupees. What the flipping hell? I thought they were supposed to spawn in like groups of two and three. I don't like mess with the spawn rate or anything. Hmm. Although I don't, I don't think you guys can see the clock, but it has been. I have been mining for a while. Um, not incredible. I mean, yeah. I need to find some more uh, rupees. I think rupees. 
think I'm looking for the rubies. Or rubies and our line. Yeah, gotta find those. Fine, fine, fine. A bit more gold. Dum dum dum. <laughs> oh! Hmm. Is it green? Uh, green was. Uh. Arlemite. It's a bit of Arlemite, right? A block. <laughs> a block of Arlemite. Cool. Well, at least rupees seem to have their spawn. S system thing broken. <laughs> or maybe they're supposed to come in that much, and I just. Actually, it's actually quite fun hopping around from side to side of the chasm like this. Oof, even though it looked bloody horrifying, it's really not that bad. I'm just recording all of this, I doubt I'm... <laughs> like, if I were to divide this up into videos, it would be like six or seven different videos. Oh, Ruby. Ruby. I don't really want to have, you know, six or seven videos of me jumping around in a mine. Because I feel like, even though it's called Minecraft, it's not really what it's all about. Ooh, uh, pushing a bit back here, too. Or pushing it. It's an underground lake. It's like Journey to the Center of the Earth. In 3D! Ow! Why do I just, like, randomly take damage sometimes? It's, it's starting to get on my nerves, and it kind of scares me a bit. Ugh. Oh, is that... I think that's Lapis. Well, let's, let's find out. Lapis is cool, anyway. We can make a blue backpack. I also realized that we need some wood, because I was going to like smelt up some stuff down here and maybe make some armor, but I don't have any wood to make a crafting table, or, um, well, just a crafting table, I guess. I was going to say I was thinking about making some a new pickaxe or something. Alright. Well, let's see. Thirty-two. I think that'll be enough to um, uh, enough to build some armor. So I will see you guys at the surface. Whew. Oh my god. I had a lot of trouble finding the exit there. I nearly died in lava at one point. Um, but I think if I take this out, we have enough uh, rupee to build an armor set. Although possibly not enough from there to... Um, Go to making the shadow, all the shadow bars we'll need. We'll worry about that later. All right. Uh, let's see here. Oh, of course it's all in a. Let's put that in there and that in there. Look at all this cobble we got mining. Just some stacks and stacks of cobblestone. Um, let's go in the brown backpack. Actually, oh, sorry. Uh, do 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 do. There we go. Uh, what else do we have? Gunpowder, bone, string. Coal. No, coal was in the other one. Dirt. Put some dirt in there. Good. Now the valuables one. Lapis, redstone, cracked. Cracked sand can go in the worthless one. I thought that was something valuable for a minute. Uh, oh, flint. Also. Ugh, come on. Focus. 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 Okay. Uh, rupee ore. Oh, we have to smelt it as well, don't we? I guess we want some uh, coal. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Four furnaces? Let's do five. Do, do, do. Oh, I'm so excited. It gives, like, full rupee armor gives you, like, 80% melee protection or something, which is going to be fantastic um, against a lot of the Divine RPG mods. Mobs. Not against the ones, not against the archer guy in the nether, uh, who you may or may not have seen. Or against the um, skeletons. <laughs> What's 32 divided by 4? 16? No. It's divided by 2. So it'd be 8. I don't think 6 coal should be enough. <laughs> 28 coal should be enough. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, I divided it by 4, but I have 5. You know, it'll, it'll work out. 
Uh, you can tell I'm an expert at Minecraft here by my clicks, my accuracy. Oh, well, it smells fairly quickly. I was worried it would take ages to smell. Um, let's see. I'm trying to make this as efficient as possible, although I think I might just be making it worse. Uh, let's see. We should have enough to start making some armor pieces. Isn't this rupee wonderfully colored? It looks like some delicious bubble gum or something, doesn't it? Okay, I got that. All right. Um, start with the chest blade, of course. Oh dear, how do you make rupee rupee armor? I looked it up earlier. Um, oh, all right. Weird. Sure. Oh, it might take more rupee than I thought it did. If um, that's a helmet. What was it? What do we have as a helmet? That's a helmet? Oh dear. What are the legs? Let's see. Okay, legs are normal. What? Why are legs more than a helmet? I don't... That doesn't make sense to me. We might... We might still have enough, depending on how much uh, boots... How much boots require. 18. Yeah, that should be enough, shouldn't it? This armor really is a wonderful color, isn't it? Um... Let's do the helmet. And the boots are normal. Okay. Aw, oh, yeah. 80% melee damage protection. Let's get rid of that iron. Rupees! Aw, oh, look at me! <laughs> I'm all purple! Oh, and look at that armor! I know the mana bar sort of covers it up, but it's all the way full. Jeez. How much of a badass do I look right now, apart from the fact that my eyes are really creepy? Uh, oh my. Anyway, um, what am I doing? F5. Doesn't that just look amazing, though? Look at me. Yeah. Yeah. Just wait till... Yeah, I, I, need, to, I need to get my skin. Uh, let's get my skin on. Also, I think... Um... Actually, let me see. Rupee, I could make like a pickaxe or something. I kind of want to make a shick axe, but I think the shadow bars should come first. Oh, this is, this is great, though. Um, this is great. Uh, do I have any leather left over? Not that one. No, okay. We're going to make a uh, blue backpack with the lapis. I don't know what we're going to put in it. We'll, we'll, we'll think of something. It could be maybe our food backpack. I don't know. I mean, brown, I feel like, should just be building materials once we can get to that point. And blue, we can put, like, mob stuff. I mean, not, the backpacks are really nice, though. Because, uh, you know, I mean, you saw my inventory earlier. If you're not settling down and building a ton of chests, it's quite inconvenient. And then, of course, if we didn't have keep inventory on, which is starting to feel a little bit like cheating now that I have all this armor. But um, we'll see how much the armor actually helps. I mean, you saw the iron was like three bars now. Rupees, like... I don't know. Rupees. Aren't rupees, aren't rupees the things that you also put in people's drink to, like, knock them out for relatively seedy people? I say relatively seedy, very seedy, creepy people that you don't want to be around. Um, all right. Uh, of course, our lapis is in here. Yeah, um, I'm going to have to get used to the backpacks, I think. But, you know, baby steps. I think we're, do I think we're doing all right with them. Uh, okay. I don't think we need that fam guide on our hot bar either, really. All right. Backpack management. Let's go. Power up. Um, I'm not sure what to do with the iron stuff. There's not really any point in keeping it anymore. We could just toss it out into the ocean. Goodbye, iron armor. You didn't really serve me that well at all. And this bow. It's a crappy bow. I don't need that. <laughs> okay, let's see. So this is going to be building materials. I'll leave the chest in there and I'll leave furnaces in there. 
And I think eventually we're going to want to have a separate one for food and like mob drop and stuff. But for now, they're just going to have to go together. are going to have to learn to live together. And purple dye can go in there as well, because why not? Um, and netherrack, sure. <laughs> nope. Forgot about the coal. There we go. I'm just going to... I should probably take some... I'll take a crafting table with me. All right, well, thank you for watching, everyone. I think this has been quite a productive episode, even though I've been at it for an hour and a half. Uh, you guys, hopefully it hasn't been much longer than 20 minutes or so. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, favorite, all that fun stuff. And I will see you all later.